Man is neither angel nor brute, and the unfortunate thing is that he who would act, the angel acts the brute. That, that was deep. Okay. That was a rough Let's talk to people. Sure. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you. I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are. Uh. Anyway, let's let's have a drink. Okay, so the Johnny and Don't Orlando, I think, are having nightmares. She doesn't know you're sleeping around with her, right? Like me. I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. Yes. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent. I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna propose to. I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, the liquor's really hitting me today. <laughs> Did you check the high scores for that game? Why are you I don't care about a game. I've got the high score right now. Uh, really? Oh, for Rapunzel. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, it's just a congratulations thing. Okay, I don't care. Mysterious meter. Oh. That's the good meter and the bad God. meter. She's an angel. Like a demon. You let's hope she's that too. are delusional. <laughs> oh baby. Who was that? Nightmare. Someone's about. getting excited. You. Okay, who's what's going on? Vincent, have you gotten involved with something bad? If that's the case, tell me. Tell me the truth. Your problems are my problems now. Don't worry about it. No, just gonna say you're worrying too much. You don't believe me? Don't worry about it. Everything's been settled. You don't have to worry about anything. Is that okay? We're gonna use it. You don't have. We're gonna reassure her. I'm sorry you're worried about me. Good night, Catherine. I love you, Catherine. Okay, we'll say I love you. I can't talk to these dudes like anymore. To to Would you like Hello. To speak to Martha? I suppose. You Here again, eating your pizza your and drinking your beer. You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? What? This one? Mr. I actually Justin really do hate politics. <laughs> Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Okay. Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? I see. Mr. Archie died this morning. Mr. Morgan died this morning. What? It's two days until the time of freedom. Okay. You got mail. I hope you're working hard. I love it when you talk about your job. Ooh, our first real date tomorrow. I'm so excited. Let's do something else after we go to the movies. What? Shit. I can't look at this in public. I need to check oh. this out somewhere where no. <laughs> Goodbye. It's Mr. one of these. Morgan. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Our love is over. Okay. Hey, do, do, tell do, 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 do. All this nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe it. Dreams are just weird. But have you seen the news? One of the victims was a regular here. He was a good man. If this stuff keeps happening... I think it was the police anyway, guy. You don't need to worry. Okay. Maybe. Go to the bathroom, wash my face. <laughs> well, that's odd. That's really creepy. <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> I'll see you at the spiral corridor tonight. I'm looking forward to it. What the? Okay, we'll go in here. In the party. Hee <laughs> hee. 
the image. Oh. Um. <laughs> I told you to stop. No. Is it going to be a date? No. We're not like that. Anyway. No. I'm so nervous. What does it also feel like? Yeah. I'll just do that. <laughs> Woo! Just humor her for a little bit. That's what we'll do. <laughs> terrible, terrible person. <laughs> okay. We will continue the story of the mysterious series of deaths. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. Grizzly story. <sighs> Archie Wallace, age 28. Oh my, Archie. These deaths are hitting close to home these days. Morgan Cortez, age 42. Morgan? Oh, did she just say Morgan Cortez? That's the yeah, officer who used to come sense. here. Kevin Taylor, age 31. No one cares about Kevin Taylor. If we learn of any new today. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Huh? Why? She doesn't actually oh. know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who was the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Can I trust you? What? How can I believe what you're saying? I hate having to say that, but you were being so weird at lunch. I'm sorry, I'm just no. not what? Quit grilling me! Nah. It's really settled now. Trust me, I'm not going to cause you any trouble. There's really nothing for you to worry about. You can relax. Mm. Thank me always. You can relax. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna humor both of them. Okay, thank you for worrying about me. There we go! Just Catherine. fine. Hello, Vincent. Catherine, what is it? I'm sorry about this afternoon. I was rambling. Hey, are you really okay? Is something wrong? Don't worry about protecting my feelings. I I'm fine, really. Thanks for asking about me. If something's happening, tell me. We're not strangers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Then I forgive you. Seriously, I'm sorry. Good night. Okay. Vincent. Sorry you had to see me like that yesterday. I mean, is that really what you want? Don't you love it? We're past the age of believing we'll have no problems just because we're in love. You too. But... He's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him. <sighs> that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh... Cheer up. <sighs> well, sorry for trying to make you feel better! I don't want to play that game. Goodbye. I didn't... Fine. Are you the type to see nightmares, Mr. Brooks? Yeah. Shit, I can't remember them. Every 
night I've had them. Women aren't the only ones to get the marriage blues. Man asks everything from a woman, but when done so, he feels she is a burden. To pilfer the pondrings from a certain someone. It doesn't matter anymore. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side, so I'm just gonna settle things. I hope it leads to a good conclusion. But still, Steve's voice, I've heard it somewhere before. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Oh no, I wanted to drink. Drink. Drink, drink, drink. <sighs> Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me. Are Looks like I was the only one hiding something. Drink. Are bullshit. Fuck <laughs> curses. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you. As you seem to. One style of cocktail that requires the most experience and technique to create is the Pusca. Normally, cocktails are stirred thoroughly, but this is a cocktail you cannot mix. The bartender creates a beautiful rainbow inside the glass by carefully layering differently colored liqueurs according to their densities. But what's the best way to drink this? Mixing it will ruin the effect. And if you don't mix it, it stays separated. Perhaps the agony of indecision is part of the Puscafé's appeal. And that was the cocktail Yay. idea for tonight. Empty? What would you like now? I want beer! Beer. Coming right up. Don't torment yourself too much. Uh, shoot. Is this time already? When I break up with her, I need to keep my mind clear. Yo. Hey, Vincent. We're leaving now. I leave too. Might as well. Yeah, I'm leaving too. Are you going home already? I just want to organize my thoughts. Okay. Well, be careful. Well, see ya. to the cathedral. The road to the cathedral starts here. Your mental powers will be truly tested here. Think hard while you... Oh, this can be awful. Now what? Whoa. I can't wait to see what they're cooking up now. Okay, in the next part, we're gonna be climbing this!